Now at 5.30, we are hearing for the very first time from a state trooper who found himself in a barrage of gunfire after a bank robbery almost two years ago. Today, a judge sentenced Rory Diggs to 40 years in prison for his part in the 2014 robbery at a Wells Fargo in Virginia Beach. On Tuesday, his co-defendant, John Lewis, was also sentenced to 40 years. The men got into a shootout with a state trooper during their getaway. Ed, the trooper told the judge that he thought he was going to die. Our Jason Marks talked with Sergeant James Pugh. So, Jason, what else is he saying about that day? Guys, Pugh has many scars, like the one from the bullet that grazed his head. But then there are the scars that you can't see. When Rory Diggs stood in front of a judge and apologized for robbing a bank, it did little for Virginia State Police Sergeant James Pugh. I came really close to death. Pugh found himself in an unexpected firefight in December 2014. He didn't know that inside the SUV he was trying to stop were two bank robbers who were heavily armed and wearing body armor. Uh, the door, I saw the door opening up. I, I mean, I've been in countless pursuits in my career. Um, so I, I thought I was getting ready to have a foot pursuit. But then bullets came through his windshield. He knew then this was different. He needed to take cover. Uh, it wasn't until I got to the back of my car that the gravity of the circumstances I found myself in really sunk in. And uh, that's, that's where the, the, the emotional issues I have right now is when I look up to the sky and, 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 and told God, please don't take me today. Diggs and his partner, John Lewis, were arrested. Pugh had a bullet graze his head and now walks with a limp from an injured knee. He also has PTSD. He describes the last two years as hell. I mean, both physically and mentally. The Diggs and Lewis families say they were shocked this happened and never saw it coming. The Commonwealth's attorney was asking the judge to give them both life sentences. Instead, they got 40 years apiece. You all heard me argue over the last two days that life in the penitentiary is, is the appropriate sentence when you fire 29 rounds at a Virginia State Trooper. I still believe that. Pew says he's okay with the sentences. The trooper is still on light duty and hopes to return to the streets soon, but his life is forever changed. I am lucky. Every day is a blessing. So you might be wondering, why did the judge give them 40 years instead of life? He said it's because they had no criminal records and he felt that 40 years was appropriate. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.